Okay, I want to do a real quick video here um, using this uh, solar generator comparison calculator on our website. Um, I've run into a lot of people that uh, they'll see uh, do-it-yourself solar generators or really ex really inexpensive solar generators and um, they think they can save some money doing that. I just want to show you what uh, the results of that really are. Um, so I put together some a parts list for a do-it-yourself solar generator very comparable to our home grid 5000 HD extreme. Um, you can look over those components if you want uh, but in doing that I put that in our calculator uh, system number one is that do-it-yourself system system number two is our home grid 5000 HD extreme and uh, these are the specifications of it uh, interestingly enough, most people never look at anything except for these three things. Um, the battery size, the solar panel size, and the cost. Now, if you just looked at those three things, you'd look at these and you'd see no way would I ever spend uh, nearly three times as much for this system that has a little more solar panel and a little less battery capacity. But let's look at what the actual results are. And I've put in a couple of things. Say you're going to run a fridge, freezer, and three hours of uh, 330 watts of lights so not a lot uh, there's a lot of different things you can put in there but for this example we'll just use that hit calculate so as you can see with this uh, the do-it-yourself system uh, amazingly it'll only run for 8.7 hours without any sun where the home grid 5000 HD Extreme will run for 33 hours. So you get a lot longer runtime, in fact, four times as long. Uh, that means if you're going to want to get that amount of runtime, you would have to buy four of those systems uh, to get the same result, which, you know, four times is going to be nearly $8,000. Uh, the weight of a system for these systems, just the batteries, would be about a thousand pounds. Um, it's just crazy. Um, and the reason for this. Oh, recharge time actually is about the same, but the reason uh, this system doesn't run very long is simply due to system inefficiencies. Um, the system efficiency calculated in this calculator is just an average of a bunch of different efficiencies. And as you can see, this one is very low at 32.2, as our home grid 5000 HD Extreme is uh, actually pretty high at 83.4. In fact, if you look down here, it describes this a little bit more. Anything over 70 is extremely good, and anything under 50 is very poor. Uh, so, so this system we designed is very poor, and, and that's kind of what we'd expect from a do-it-yourself uh, cheap system. But a lot of people just don't realize how poor it is and how that really affects what it does. Um, in the long run, you'd be much better off spending a little bit more money and having a system that's going to run uh, for a lot longer. Not to mention the batteries in this system are only going to last you a year if you're lucky, um, whereas these are more like 10 years. Uh, so you're going to get a lot longer life out of all the components. Uh, just a much, much better system overall. And uh, anyway, I suggest you take a look at this calculator, play around with it, put some different systems in there. A lot of times you might have to uh, look at the specs of the inverters, the charge controllers, all that sort of stuff. But uh, when you actually see the results, it's pretty eye-opening. So anyway, I hope you learned something here. Have a great day.